The BYU basketball team rolls out its intra-squad scrimmage tonight at the Marriott Center, and fans will get their first look at the Collinsworth brothers playing together for the first time. True Blue's Jerem Jordan takes us inside this unique family affair. Well, they came longer to get to this interview than they did from their high school basketball court to the court that they'll be playing on this season. It's Chris and Kyle Collinsworth. Guys, thanks for being on True Blue. No problem. Chris, let's start with you. Uh, fans uh, you know, saw you make some news on your mission in Australia. You got stabbed. Uh, what happened there? Um, I was just walking down the street with my companion, and we got jumped by a couple of guys, and there was a little bit of a brawl, and ended up with a stab wound, and my companion had a few as well. It was, it was pretty intense. Were you guys okay after all was said and done? Yeah, I mean, everything was fine. A couple days later, I was back on the street doing missionary work, and same with my companion, so it was, it was a pretty big deal. It was a pretty big scare, but in the end, everything turned out all right. Good. And I uh, read an article where your mom said, uh, quoting you, that let them know that I'm not a wimp and I put up a fight. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, we did fight. There was, I mean, it was a pretty big fight that happened. At first it was just two on two and then more of their friends came and we, we fought for a while until my shirt got pulled over my head and that was the end of it. Well, Kyle, let's uh, talk with you a little bit. Provo High, uh, bro older brother played for BYU. How influential was that in getting you here? It was a big part. You know, I had a, I had a lot of options, but when it came down to it, I want to stay close to home and play with my older brother. So that would be a neat experience. In 07, you were a freshman, and uh, you were a senior at Provo High. I think you got hurt in that season, didn't end up playing at the end very much. But how, how much have you guys played together throughout your lives? A lot. Um, I remember back when I was in seventh grade and Kyle's in fourth grade, he played on our team. He was the he was the eighth man, because I remember my dad didn't like having eight guys on the team because it was harder to rotate, so he had Kyle be our eighth guy. And he ended up coming in one game and having 18 points or something like that. That's how you get in the starting five, right? Yeah, that's right. And so we played together a lot. And that scene, my senior year in 07, that was really fun to be on a high school team, a successful high school team with Kyle. It was good. Kyle, how, how awesome will it be to uh, maybe throw an alley-oop to your brother or vice versa? Uh, that would be sweet. Is Hopefully. that in the works? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we get that <laughs> opportunity. The bridge between you guys is I know one of your best friends, Brandon Davies, also a Provo High graduate. How long have you known him and how good of friends are you with Brandon? Uh, I've known him since seventh grade. We played on seventh grade team together. He wasn't very good back then, but... <laughs> he's through, doing okay now. Through time, yeah, he's, gotten, he's good now. There, were, there was a time where you won a state title with Brandon, you won a couple with Brandon. Uh, what do you expect out of the three of you now with, with BYU? Um, nothing different. We expect to come here and win and to continue to, I guess, bring that success that we've had our whole lives in basketball. And I know we're at a, a, a bigger level, a higher level, playing against guys who have won state championships themselves back in high school. But I think we can continue to be successful. And that's, I expect nothing but that. What's the hardest thing about getting back into shape after your mission? <laughs> it's so up and down. One day you feel great, you feel like you're back, and the next day you feel like an old man. And um, that's, that's been the biggest struggle for me is just trying to stay, or just trying to be consistent. I've been back for over five months now. There's still some days where I feel like I can't even walk and chew gum. At six foot six, uh, you played a lot of point guard. That'd be a tall point guard in college especially, but what role do you see yourself playing and what does Coach Rose want out of you as a freshman? Uh, probably play multiple positions and just contribute any way I can, whether it's assists, rebound, scoring, just contribute any way I can. What position would you like to play if you had a choice? Uh, I just want to play, so it really doesn't matter to me whatever they need me as, so okay. it doesn't matter. Three Provo High guys on the same team. Can BYU handle that much Provo High, and can the Mountain West Conference handle that? Uh, it's too much. You know, it's three guys that know how to win. We come from a winning program, so it's nice to have three guys that know how to win, have the winning attitude. Okay, I'm going to list off a couple of things, and I want the two of you to figure out who's better at these things between the two of you. Who's got a better jump shot? <laughs> I don't know. Dirk Nowitzki. No, between the two of you. Yeah, nice. I know. Um, we'll say Kyle. Okay, Kyle. Who's a better defender? Me. Chris. Who can uh, bench more? Me. Chris. Who's quicker? Oof. Me. Probably Kyle. Who wins in one-on-one? -on -one? 
I don't know. Three years ago? No, right now. <laughs> Who knows? I don't have know. you played? Have you played no, one on no. one recently? That would end in a fight. That would end in a fight. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Well, luckily we won't see much fighting from the two of you this season. No. Good luck as we uh, look forward to seeing the Collinsworth brothers. This has been a long time coming, so have a uh, great. And it's just gonna be one season, right? Yeah. Going on a mission after yeah, this, and then one year, then going on a yeah. mission. Okay, make it a good one, guys. Thanks for being on Trueblood. No worries. Thanks. Thanks.